Speaking of celebrations, has COVID-19 made blowing out birthday candles a thing of the past? What do you think about this one, Nita? Uh, you know, I got to be honest with you, Dr. Orton. I, even before the pandemic, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I'm not a big cake eater, but it, there's just something about like just blowing all over the cake. And I know I'm going to get some pushback. It, People are like, got to make my wish. And Nita, I, it's disgusting. Especially when you're at the party with the kids and they all have their drippy noses like per usual and you see them getting all excited and the snot's coming out and they start blowing out the candles. I mean, as you can imagine, yeah. when you're blowing out candles, you are, you are releasing a huge amount of bacteria. You know, the good news is they've studied this and it typically doesn't lead to illness because it's a lot of the bacteria, potentially viruses are normal in the oral cavity. If you're not sick, if the other person is not sick, then the chances of transmitting something is pretty darn low. But you know, when it comes to something like the flu or even the cold, COVID-19, you're exposing these droplets with blowing out candles. I think you're better served not doing it. And also there are those candle snuffers and you know, you can extinguish the flame or there's this, it's like a plastic cake shield. It costs about 15 bucks and you put it over the cake and there are holes to put the candles in there and then you can just blow. Have you seen those? I saw that plastic cake cover, not bad, 15 bucks. Hey, guess what? There's a lot of birthdays and events through a lifetime. So an investment in that, I mean, it does, it does keep that cake uh, cleaner, uh, more hygienic. I kind of like that idea. Nita, we actually did a poll on social media to see what people thought about blowing out candles, whether it's a thing of the past or it's here to stay. And guess what? 78% said they were still going to blow those candles out. Really? I guess it's important. <laughs> Got to make that wish. No, you do, you do, and but there, as you said, there are options you can do without slobbering all over the cake, right? We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. About the market. Panic about COVID. And how Panic do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I could change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.